yeah hello and welcome so we are going to be considering relations between load shear force and bending moment so the figure above uh, is a beam carrying a uniform distributed load of uh, w per unit uh, length or per unit run <coughs> we are going to consider the equilibrium portion of the beam of section 1 1 and uh, 2 2 you can see this is the beam a b carrying a uniform distributed load and uh, the uh, unit of unit w per unit uh, length that is uh, unit run and uh, it is section at section 1 and section 2 and uh, the beam is at a distance s from the left hand side and it is of length ds all right so uh, we want to consider the this portion of the beam so this is it here if we section out this part this is if you cut out this part so this is what you are going to have all right so here we have uh the shear force f here is the shear force at section one and the uh, our m here is the bending moment at section one and the f plus the f here is the shear force at uh, section two and the m plus the m is the uh, bending moment at section two. All right, so for us to solve this, the first thing we are going to consider is uh, the summation of force in y direction should be equals to what? Zero. And then we are going to be taking upward force positive and then downward force negative. All right, so if we do that here, what are we going to have? All right. So our upward force here is uh, F, F, then, now, don't forget, uh, the unit of this uniform distributed load here is what? Is W per what? Per unit uh, run. So now, it means that uh, we are going to consider, we are going to convert this uniform distributed load to a point load. And for us to do that, it's going to be W multiplied by what? The distance that it covers. Uh, the distance here is ds so this distance too is going to be what it's going to be ds so it's going to be w multiplied by what ds and it's going to be a what a downward force so it's going to be minus w ds let me write it well all right minus w ds then here we have a downward force here too we are going to have minus into f plus what f plus df to be equals to what zero all right so this is what we are going to have so if we uh, clear the bracket we are going to have this to be f minus w ds then minus f then minus df to be equals to what zero all right so f here will go with f and then we'll be left with minus w ds minus df will be equals to zero all right all right so now uh if we if we equate if we take uh this to the other side i'm going to have minus df to be equals to to be equals to w d s all right so uh if we divide through by the s so we are going to have the s the s so the s we cancel out the s here and if we multiply through by minus so we are going to have the f all over the s to be equals to minus w so the first equation that we have here it shows uh, that the rate of change of uh, shear force is equal to the rate of what of uh, the loading. So this is the first uh, equation. The rate of change of shear force is equal to what uh, the uh, rate of uh, uh, the loading. So that is what we have here to be our what equation one. That is it shows the relationship that is between the rate of uh, the shear force. And uh, the rate of what of the loading. All right. So 
uh, we want to consider the next uh, relationship now, we are going to be taking our moment towards section uh, 2. So the summation of moments towards section 2 should be equal to what? 0. All right. So uh, this is going to be what? So this is our section 2 here. So we are going to be having moment here, which is M. So we are taking this moment to be positive, while this one is going to be what? Negative. All right. So if this one is positive, it shows that our upward force 2 is going to be what? Positive. All right. So now, here we are going to be having M plus uh, our F here multiplied by the distance because we are taking our moment towards this side. So the upward force multiplied by total distance, which is the F, is going to be F dS. All right. So, and again, don't forget, we are having this uh, uh, uniform distributed load. So if we convert it to a point load, we are going to have uh, minus W times dS, right? So uh, minus W times dS minus W times dS, then multiply by dS divided by 2. All right, so that's what we are going to have. Then last but not the least, we are going to have this moment here. Uh, this downward force here, we cannot consider it uh, again because we are taking a moment towards this side. So we're left with just this uh, anticlockwise moment here. So here we are going to be, uh, which is going to be what? We have taken this one to be what? Positive, which is, this is going to be what? Negative minus M into what? Plus M plus DM will be equals to what? Zero. All right. So here we are going to have this to be what? M plus F dS, then minus W, then dS all square divided by 2. Then if you clear this bracket, you are going to have minus M minus dM, everything to be equals to, everything to be equals to 0. Let's take it to be equals to 0. All right. So uh, here you observe that M will go with M here. So here we'll be left with what? we left with F, the S, the M minus W, the S, all square, all over 2, then minus the M will be equals to what? Zero. All right. So we... Are going to be neglecting higher power or smaller variable and which is this we are going to be neglecting this all right so if we neglect this we are going to be left with f ds minus dm to be equals to what zero all right so now the next thing we are going to do is if we move the m to this other side we are going to have f ds to be equals to what dm all right, so uh, if we divide both sides by ds, we divide both sides by ds, ds, then our f will be equals to dm all over what ds. So this is the second relationship. All right, and uh, this uh, relationship shows that uh, the rate of uh, change of uh, our bending moment is equal to the what? Is equal to the uh, shear force at uh, the section because we said our F here is our what? Is our shear force, and uh, this is the rate of what bending moment. So the rate of uh, bending moment is equal to what shear force at the section. All right, and the first one here, the rate of uh, change of uh, shear force uh, is equal to the rate of change of what uh, the loading. So this is the first relationship. And this is the second relationship. When you are asked to show the relationship between load, shear force, and bending moment. So this is just what uh, is required of you. I hope you understand this totally. Uh, stay tuned for more interesting uh, content.